I am going to be making chile verde and I wanted to show you guys a quick recipe that tastes amazing. Um, one of the things I did want to say is this meat is a little frozen. It's not completely thawed out, but I'm going to show you guys a method that I do when I cook meat that's a little frozen. So here I have 11 tomatillos. I have a bunch of cilantro, one entire onion, and then I have tomatoes. I'm using four, and then I have six chilies right here. I don't want it too crazy. Like if I'm making chile relleno, I basically just like want to lightly cook it. That is the sound that I love to hear when I'm roasting these. So this one is ready. This is like exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna put a large pan on a medium heat and I'm just gonna drop in some oil, tomatillos. I'm gonna be adding my tomatoes. And we are just gonna let this cook down. I'm just gonna cover it and let it sit there. In a medium heat, I'll be adding both packs of my pork in the pan. Now I'm just gonna be adding some salt over it. Not too much, but enough. <laughs> and we're just gonna put the lid on this and let this simmer down. This is already sizzling and that's gonna cook down and then you don't have to boil it. Like I like to do it like this because I feel like when you sizzle it like this, the flavor still locks in, but when you boil it, the flavor goes into the water. So I don't peel my chilies. That's why I barely roast them. I'm gonna show you a technique, the, the way I chop them. I also don't blend these. I like to chop them in long strips. For me, it just tastes better when I add it to the meat. As you can see here, I am thinly slicing it. I want it to be this thin, and I like it to be that long. For the cilantro, we don't want it to cut it too small. We want it to leave it a good size. We don't want it to dissolve inside of the stew. I mean, it's chile verde is like a stew. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the onion and we're also gonna be cutting it into strips. Just like this chili, we want it to be strips. So because they're gonna be put in at the same time, these two can actually go on the same plate. Also, that's just a little paint from work. <laughs> I can't get it off. We're gonna check our chilies. And then I like to just kind of turn them around so they roast on both sides. Oh, there we go. We're gonna take some tongs and just kind of just see what's going on in here. Kind of like flip everything, separate them. So these are actually pork chops, which is super cool. I got them because they were on sale. Gonna flip them over. Look at my look at my pumpkin. Okay, and we're just gonna let those babies sit. So these are so ready. Look at that. Oh, and I'm gonna blend it in this juice, you guys. Just FYI, but I'm gonna let it cool down for I would say about 10 minutes. Okay, and then let's check our pork. So yeah, they're looking like they're almost ready. They're already starting to get like really soft. That's what I like about cooking pork. It literally falls apart. Like if this was beef, you guys, this would be very tough. But because it's pork, look at that. It's falling apart already. That's awesome. We're just gonna kinda mix it up. And then, yeah, see that that part's still a little frozen. I know maybe you're really a chassis right now. Okay, and we're gonna put the top back on it and let it cook for a little while longer. This is nice and cool now. We're gonna add this to the blender. Okay, also I'm sorry about the fan noise. It's really hot in here. Okay guys, so. Again, this is nice and cool. Get all that flavor. So now we're just gonna pulse this. We don't want it to be all blended, all watery down. We're just gonna pulse it like that. Okay. 
I'm gonna take my pork chops out. You only have to do this if you buy the pork chops with bone. And the reason why is because I wanna make sure there's no bone in there because I don't want anybody to choke. Okay, honey, wait, give me a minute. I really don't want anybody to choke on these little tiny bones, so I'm just gonna make sure like there's no bone in it. This is already like falling apart though, look at that. Okay, so you see all that flavor? Honey, give me a minute. Yes, give me a minute. Okay, so you see all that flavor in the bottom? We're gonna leave that in the pan, actually. Now we're gonna, we're gonna take all of our chilies and our onion and we're just gonna saute that in the pan. I mean, not really like saute it, but we're just gonna mix this in the pan like this. Oh, hello. That'll fall apart like when it's in there. And we're just gonna let that simmer. We're gonna add our just gonna mix all that together. Okay, and now I'm gonna add enough water to cover everything. So you can see that? It's nice and covered. All right, and now we're just gonna let this baby saute. And we're gonna prepare our pork over here. So, I mean, literally you guys, just like break it up like that. Make sure there's like absolutely no bones. Like, you see how dangerous that is? I don't want my kids even close to that. Just take all the meat off the bone. The only thing I use for flavor, you guys, is nor. Like, literally, that's all you need. Okay, baby, can you give me a minute? Thank you. Ah, this is falling. Hold it, Faith. Hold it right there. Say hi, Faith. Hello. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add our pork. And by the way, I just literally cut it up with my hand. And the reason why I like to use my hand is so I can kind of press it and make sure there's no bones in there. Again, you only have to do this if you buy the pork chops with the bones. If you don't, then you're good. You can just add the chili on top of it. Enrique, can you, honey, can I, mommy, just cover it? Okay, <laughs> Okay, so now we're just gonna stir it in. I've already done it. <laughs> Trying to like make a cooking video here and be mommy at the same time. And now we're just gonna cover it and let that simmer. Okay, what do you want? Who didn't give you a lollipop though? Nobody's gonna give you a lollipop. You have to have dinner first. Okay, so now that this has come to a boil, Enrique, please, baby. <laughs> Sorry guys. So now that this has come to a boil you guys now. I'm going to be adding my cilantro And we're just gonna kind of fold it in Yummy The cilantro to me always gives it such a pretty look And now we're just gonna let this baby cook down. You want to make sure you cover it. <laughs> I forgot to say that Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to get this fog. Okay, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and yeah, we're still gonna reduce it. We wanna reduce as much juice as possible before it's ready because we want these chilies to cook in there too. We want these chilies to get like really soft. That's the goal. So just make sure that you're patting it down, making sure it's underneath the broth. And we're gonna lower the heat and continue to cover. Okay guys, so it's been simmering for a while. Now I'm gonna take a bean smasher. I'm not gonna smash it like beans, but I'm just gonna kinda like separate the meat. That way it's, you know, separated. <laughs> and the chilies are kinda like broken apart. You see how that looks when you smash it with the beans? Cause everything's like pretty much ready, but we just have to kinda help it a little. See that? It's wherever you see a chili go down on. No pun intended. See that? Oh. Alright, this is literally you guys ready to serve. I'm gonna show you guys how I serve this. So, the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna lightly fry our tortilla, like very, very light. Go ahead and pat your tortillas and we're just gonna place them on the middle of the plate. Look at this chilavetta there, you guys. I mean, it is literally 
so good. So we're just gonna put some on the tortilla, you guys. Let's see, we're just gonna put that right in the center. Okay. And now we're gonna add some cheese just on the top, just so it kind of like melts on there. And then we're gonna take some diced up lettuce and a couple pieces of avocado, depending on your preference on how much you like. I like to just kind of put them on the side. And then a nice scoop of sour cream and voila, you got your chile verde.